This video is going to focus on what the definition of the actual term isotope is. So by the end of the video you'll know what an isotope is and you'll be able to use different examples to prove that. Okay, so we're going to use hydrogen as an example. Now the first one I'm drawing here is called hydrogen 1-1. And if we use that we can actually see that we have one proton, one electron and zero neutrons because one take away one is zero. There's a second isotope though which is called 2-1 hydrogen. So that 2 is the atomic mass, 1 is the atomic number, which means that I have 1 proton, bottom number, 1 electron, bottom number, and 1 neutron, 2 take away 1. So straight away you can see that 2 things are the same and 1 is different. Now when we focus on the definition then, what we're talking about is it's actually the number of protons that are the same. We're not going to include electrons, you'll learn about that when we do ionic bonding. And then the thing that's different is the number of neutrons. So our definition is the same number of protons, different number of neutrons. What you need to do is learn that. Okay, let's have a look at an example question then. So this one is looking at two different isotopes of chlorine. And it says, look at the two chlorine atoms below. Use the information below to explain what an isotope is. So not only are you saying what an isotope is, but you're using the actual information from the two chlorine atoms. So think back to what you've seen in the rest of the video, pause it and have a go at writing your answer. Okay, let's uh, see how you've done. So the first thing then is to point out what is the same in both of them. And in this case, it is the number of protons. So your first marking point is saying they both have 17 protons or they have the same number of protons. Your second mark is for saying what is different. Which in this case is they both have different mass numbers. This one's 37, this one's 35. You could push that a bit further and go into what is the actual difference then because if the protons are the same the thing that's got to be different to make up that number is the neutrons so saying they have different numbers of neutrons now if this was only worth two marks like the question was i would be particularly looking for saying they have the same number of protons or both have 17 protons and they have a different number of neutrons which you could then calculate which would be 20 for this one and 18 for this one okay hopefully that's helped you with that part of the topic if you're feeling confident, this should be a nice straightforward review section, which is literally just describe what an isotope is. And that's the end of this video.